You're watching Slate Mix Tips, presented by the Music Technology Program at Capital University. Stephen Slate gave us the tweets. We give you the details. If you ever find yourself mixing a song that just keeps wanting to sound vintage, you might have some issues when you're trying to get the vocals to have that same feel. My name is Brian Glover, and today I'm going to show you a really quick Slate tip that anyone with Pro Tools can do. On July 24, 2012, Stephen Slate tweeted, Vintage Vox, attenuate top with 12K shelf, boost mids at 3.5K, mix in parallel distorted Vox subtly, and use long pre-delayed compressed verb. Now that might sound confusing right now, but I'm going to break that down step by step, and hopefully it'll help you get closer to that sound that you're after. Right now I'm going to show you what my mix sounds like just with my dry vocals. Frozen, grounded, feet for sounds and better things. So as you can see, pretty boring right now. Sicker. So if you don't already have an EQ on your Vox track, go ahead and throw one on. We're going to start with that high frequency attenuation. So right around that 12 kilohertz, I have 11.99. Minus 3.2 dB is a little bit more than attenuation in my opinion, but it's what I felt I needed to do to shape the sound how I wanted it. Next, we're going to want to boost those high mids that he was talking about, right around 3.5k. I had to go a little bit higher because of my vocalist's voice. I set the cue to 0.72, pretty wide, but again I felt it was necessary to make it sound more natural. And I put the gain up to 3.5 dB. So again, a little, a little more than I was expecting to, but it worked. After we have the UQ done, we're going to want to go ahead and move on to these aux tracks that you see here. So go ahead and create two aux tracks if you don't already have two unused ones that you can use for this. Label the first one Parallel Vox. I denote parallel with the two slashes there, it's just easier than typing the word parallel in my opinion. And the other one I labeled Vintage Verb. I set the inputs to 21, bus 21 and bus 22 respectively. Looking at this Parallel Vox track, what we're going to do is create a send on our original Vox track to the appropriate input, so bus 21, set that to Unity, and then add an insert capable of distortion on your parallel Vox track. I chose Sans Amp because it's simple and it gets the job done, plus it's stock. I browsed through some presets, came upon Clean 6, and liked it, so I tweaked it a little bit, focusing on the high end, pulling out a lot of the low stuff, just because in my opinion, Vintage doesn't have a lot of low end. After you get that distortion in there, the key is to mix it in subtly. So for that, what I did was start with the fader all the way down and slowly move it up to a point where I liked it. Frozen, grounded, feed for sounds and better things. So you could hear that crispiness start to creep in there. Finally, we're going to move on to this vintage reverb. So much like you did for the parallel vocals, create an aux send on your original vocal track over to your vintage verb. And then the inserts we're going to use for this are Dverb and BF76. Go ahead and bypass the compressor for now so we can get good Dverb settings You know, without worrying about what the compressor's doing before we've even touched it. For this, I just went pretty simple, small room reverb. You can set this however you like it, just keeping in mind that the pre-delay has to be long. After you have the reverb set how you like it, go ahead and bring up your compressor, make sure it's no longer bypassed, and just do your standard light vocal compression, four to one ratio, faster attack, slower release, and make sure you're getting about four dB of gain reduction. When you put that in with the rest of the mix, we get a little something like this. Frozen, grounded, feed for sounds and better things. Really starting to feel more comfortable with the rest of the mix now. I hope this demonstration has helped you better understand this tweet by Stephen Slate. I'm Brian Glover, and you've been watching Slate Mix Tips, presented by the Music Technology Program at Capital University. Thanks for watching.